All right, guys, I have a disc today that I probably shouldn't be throwing, but we're going to throw it on this channel. I have a pre-flight Star Destroyer, and I believe the Destroyer came out in 2008. I'll have it on the screen here if I'm wrong. But then in 2009, Innovus started using the flight number, so this run of Destroyer is very limited. And if you haven't noticed, it's also signed by Avery Jenkins and Paul Macbeth. Now the pre-flight Star Destroyer or the SDS Destroyer is one of Drew Gibson's favorite discs. It's the Alabama disc that he throws super far. Ricky Wysocki, when he was on Innova, he really liked this disc and I'm sure there's many other Innova players who are really interested in this disc. Now what this disc is known for, I've never actually thrown one, is I guess it flips and you know, it just glides forever. So this is more of a straight to understable destroyer. So I'm only gonna throw it one time, it's super cold out here, but we're gonna give it a 360 and we've, I don't know why it's always in extremely windy out here, but we've got some decent wind. Let's see how far we can throw it. All right, so I don't have my phone with me, so we can't U-disc it off. And honestly, that thing didn't really flip up as much. And that could be because it's like 18 degrees outside Fahrenheit. So it's pretty cold out here. And I would assume like in the summer, it's probably gonna get more flip. I threw it on hyzer as well. And not only that, but we do have a little bit of a tailwind. If I had to guess, it probably went about like 420 to 440 feet. It wasn't very far. Still decent throw. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Comment down below. Have you ever thrown a pre-flight destroyer? Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.